What's up everybody? I wanted to make another quick video to show you another way that I use to find really awesome expired domains. Um, I will say that the, the criteria, criteria that I use is different than what other people may use. Um, I'll give you an example. So you look at this site, sunrise-contractors.com. I referenced a lot as one of the test sites I built uh, with CityPage Pro. It, it does pretty well, close to 30 visits a day. Um, and if you look, if you do it in, in uh, in quotes, you'll see it had, a, before I even bought it, it had a BBB, has a compass listing, a Yelp listing, a mantra listing, a bunch of other listings, and then you'll see then yellow pages, and then you'll see then the website. But um, that really shows Google that it's a real business, has all these uh, local citations. Now, you could go ahead and build those citations. You could buy a brand new .info site for a couple bucks, and then, you know, Monta's free, BBB, all that stuff's free to submit your website to. But uh, that's not the way I do it. So uh, I'll show you a really quick way that I'm using today. I'm doing a bunch of builds. Uh, I'm looking for a gutter cleaning site. Um, so site colon yelp.com and then in quotes I have the dash space closed dash space space quote with the word gutter or if I wanted to look for windows whatever. I just found a bunch of other I just found four or five awesome ones. So I'm doing gutters live with you guys right now. Uh, all right, I'm going to go through. I already checked a few of these. I know they're not good. So uh, in terms of good being available. So let's see. Um, all right, all clean rain gutters. I already checked those. KK. Check a few more. Beethoven's, Belden's. Let's go with Aegon. Tristar. Now, what I'm looking for is if they have a domain. Now, that's a dot power site. I don't want it. They don't have it. They don't have it. Uh, Belden.com. Let's see what they got. So now what I'll do is I'll first see if it's available in my name cheap, uh, which I need to open up. All right, I want to see if it's available. And it is not available, so we'll move on. No website, no website, the Titan roofing. Let's see if this is available. Back to my name cheap. So basically, this is what I'll do. I'll go through till I find one that has a Yelp listing, and then generally, if they have a Yelp listing, I'll then check to see what else they have. Generally, they have a bunch of other things. So let me pause the video as I do some searches and I'll show you what I come up with. So I ended up finding this centennialstategutters.com. It's got this uh, Yelp listing with four or five star reviews. It's got a ghostsmith, a um, biz standing, not too much else. Um, generally, I like to see a, a few more things, but um, this should work pretty well. And you'll see that it was available. Um, I can keep searching. I don't want to make this video really long. Um, but generally speaking, I, I'm probably going to buy this domain. I needed to buy a roofing siding, a window, a gutter one. So I'm just going to keep rolling. I found some really awesome other ones here. Um, you'll see for my other searches. Let's see what that had here. So that has a, uh, a scam advisor. I don't know what that is. Uh, but we've got our Yelp with the five-star review. We've got the Manta. We've got a Twitter. Um, we still have the site. Looks like it's still indexed, which is awesome. So that means there should be no issue with indexing. And we got a couple other, yeah, five pages worth. So um, we got Biz Expose, all these different, uh, you know, kind of like local citations. So that's all done. You know, 125 results uh, just with the domain in there. So that site should work out. So you see, I found a few of these things here: Mikhail Roofing. This is a remodeling one, and this was all, you know, just using that search that I have set up with for the Yelp and the closed. Let's see what this has got. So we've got um, a Pinterest service lane, a Yelp, a um, bunch of other listing, buzz file, house file. So this is looking good. Yeah, this is another good one. So that's what I would do. Um, either use expireddomains.net. They have a free version there. Um, or go ahead and use this version. It takes a little more time to search through to make through they're available, but um, it's an awesome tool and I'm using it and I would advise you to do the same thing.